everyone and welcome to Cooked Up Wares. This is Robin Cook and I just wanted to give you all an update and thank you so much for the honor of being your health coach for supporting Cooked Up Wares throughout these years. So thank you all so much. I wanted to share with you some healthy holiday tips as we are entering into November soon and then December and the new year. Let's finish this year off strong. Don't you agree? So I wanted to share with you two quick little recipe ideas to help us to stay on track to still enjoy sweet foods, but without all that refined sugar. That is gonna be a huge key as we're going throughout the holiday season. So I have with me here one of my favorite foods of all time, a sweet potato, and this happens to come from the farmer's market from where the red fern grows. So these are in season right now. If you have a farmer's market near you, you might wanna pick one up real quick before the farmer's market ends for the season. So you can take this sweet potato, and of course you could poke it and bake it and then mash it and enjoy it like that. Or you can take the sweet potato and you can cube it and then toss it in coconut oil, some organic coconut oil and some cinnamon and maybe a pinch of real sea salt. And then put it into a glass baking dish at 350 degrees into the oven for about 25 minutes, perhaps even 30 until it is fork tender. And then out of the oven comes this amazing sweet potato dish that is so easy to make, so delicious. The coconut oil brings out the natural sweetness from the sweet potato and it's just delicious. It's one of my mom's favorites. So this one here you can enjoy. You could even put some chopped pecans on top after you bring it out of the oven. Maybe a slight drizzle of some organic maple syrup. And, oh man, you are all set. And that would be a wonderful healthy alternative to the traditional Thanksgiving or Christmas sweet potatoes with all the marshmallows, right? Another fun and easy and delicious one, especially if you're a chocolate person like me, is to take some organic dark chocolate, preferably 75% or higher, and melt it. You can add a little bit of stevia to it, and then once it's melted, you can pour it over some raw nuts, whether it's little walnut cr clusters or pecan clusters or pumpkin seeds and almonds or whatever it is that you like. Drizzle that chocolate on top and you have some healthy turtles. So there you have it, my friends. There are two easy recipe ideas that you can use that are going to satisfy that sweet craving and you're going to be staying on track with your health goals. Now, of course, if you want some other healthy ideas, I do have the Cook to Flourish YouTube channel, which you are more than welcome to come over and look at some of the videos there to help you stay on track, as well as our Cook to Flourish cookbook available at Especially Jewelry, Ivy and Sparrow, The Retreat, and Lee Summit, as well as Amazon. It would be an honor to help you with that. Then also transitioning, it would be wonderful for us to stay well throughout this season through using different supplements, different herbs. So make sure that you are supporting your body. So I'm going to supply a link below to my herbal boutique. So it's an online wellness store practically. And so here's some of my favorites like Silver Shield Gel. I like to use this for hand sanitizer. You know, when I go out shopping or to the grocery store, I really like to put this on my hands before I go shopping. Of course, essential oils are lovely to diffuse for healthy scents. They're also great for gifts this time of year too. And I also enjoy different little drinks like this that are much healthier than like energy drinks or sodas. Like this is the Solstic Immune. So these are from my herbal boutique and I will provide a link below. If you have any questions about different supplements or how to navigate the website, please let me know. It would be an honor to help. Another fun update too is that this is, you know, a gift giving season here soon. And so a dear friend of mine, Megan Troyer and I are partnering to share an online shopping event. And so she's a designer. She makes t-shirts and different paintings and things that she has available online. And then of course I make jewelry. And so you are welcome to join us. It's going to be this Thursday evening on Facebook. So I will provide a link below too. We would love to have you join us. But of course, there are many fun options at Ivy and Sparrow, at Especially Jewelry and The Retreat. They all have beautiful gift options. It would be an honor to serve you there with different jewelry things or our Encouraged to Flourish or cookbook. And then lastly, if you are in need of encouragement during this season, we still have our Walking by Faith 
Facebook group going strong. So we started that during the quarantine season, but you know, God has had us to continue with it. So maybe you're already in the group, and if so, it's awesome to have you there. If you haven't joined us, please feel free and click the link below. Join us. It would be an honor to open God's Word together and pray, especially during this busy season. And so I wanted to close with a verse. It's a wonderful verse. One of my favorites it comes from Psalm 105, verse 4. Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. So, such a powerful truth to look to God. He is the one that gives us strength, and we are always wanting to seek His face. So, thank you all so much for joining us here. God bless you, and thank you again so much.